What's up people of the internet? I'm the big boat here with yet another video. In this video we will be testing the Intel Celeron N2840 which is a CPU based on the silver mode architecture and part of the Bechero family of power efficient processors. It has two cores with no hyper threading of course and it has a burst frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics page rail as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a burst frequency of up to 792 MHz in this Celeron's case. It's also based on the same Ivy Bridge architecture as the Intel HD 4000, weirdly enough. We also have 4 GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 500 GB hard drive for the operating system and a 1TB external one on which the game that we'll be playing today is installed. As for operating system, we're using Windows X Lite Redstone Revival version 2, made by the legend FB Conan. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we'll be benchmarking today is Max Payne 3. It was one of the options in a poll that I made some time ago for what eventually became the Black Ops 2 video, Two people even requested it, and I'm glad they requested it, because it's a very underrated game to be honest. Like, seriously, but does it run well on the Celeron? That's what we're going to find out, so let's get straight to the point now! Oh yeah, Max Payne indeed did not need his Portuguese for beginners phrase book to find out that we need to lower the resolution to 800 by 600. Thank <laughs> you. 
surprise, motherfucker. Well, I think we can consider Max Payne free playable now. But you know what? Let's try to push for an even lower resolution than 800 by 600. But, the big boat, you can't lower the resolution from 800 by 600. Oh yeah, you can, and I'm going to show you how. The method is rather strange, so listen carefully, please. First, we need to go to the game's config file, which is located in Documents, Rockstar Games, Max Payne 3. Open the graphics.xml file with Notepad, and here's what we need to do. First, set the full screen value to 0. This will make the game run in windowed mode, which is actually a necessity sadly. And the second step is... Well, I think you get it. Just lower the width and height uh, values to 640x480. It's actually the only lower resolution than 800x600 that Max Paint 3 allows you to use. Trust me, I've tried 512x384 and 400x300 and they don't apply properly at all. Then start the game again. I know the game window is weirdly really placed now, but I'm going to show you how to fix that too, don't worry. After the game has loaded, press your Windows key and go to the display settings. There, lower your desktop resolution to 800x600, but make sure not to do it before watching the game. Also, make sure not to move the game window by even a single pixel because um, it will revert the game resolution back to 800 by 600 and you will have to restart the game. The same thing happens if you try to play it in full screen mode with lower resolution regardless if it's before launching the game or after doing so and then pressing Alt plus Enter. Anyway, after doing the steps, you can go back to the game. But one thing that I strongly recommend is right clicking your taskbar and going to the taskbar settings. There, tick the automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode option, which will, well, hide the taskbar when you're playing Max Paint 3 at 640x480. Guys, don't worry, you can always access the taskbar by pressing your Windows key in case you want to check your battery or something. And you can also access it after closing the game by hovering your mouse at the bottom of the screen. And you can always undo the changes done to the taskbar in display settings after you don't play the game. So that's pretty much it. Let's see how this underrated masterpiece from 2012 runs on the Celeron N2840 at 640x480. Sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. 